The first two weeks are to establish a baseline for your health. All bodies are different and react differently to the same foods. All you need to do right now is observe the impact of your diet and activity on your body. While in the observation phase, keep track of what you're eating. Religiously log the food you eat and the time you eat it. You're just gauging your body's reaction to different foods. Try to stick to simple combinations of foods. This makes it easier to see specific reactions to different foods. For example, go for a single type of fruit rather than a mixed fruit bowl, or just pasta instead of pasta and dessert. This will also let you know if a certain food isn't suiting you. Your energy levels are affected by your diet, sleep, and stress levels. You may notice that your energy levels peak and dip during the day. This could be due to fluctuating blood glucose or your circadian rhythm. Observe if your energy levels follow a pattern and if your sleep, diet, and stress affect this pattern and your metabolic score. If you'd like to improve your workout performance, you can add this activity by using the plus button on the Ultra Human app. These activities will sync automatically if you've enabled Apple Health or Google Fit on the app. Cyborg will create activity fueling scores for all tagged activities. This will give you a baseline for your activity fueling and tell you how your body is coping with that activity. This is the experimentation phase. The goal is to improve your score with the insights you've received from the observation phase. Foods that score low aren't always necessarily bad. They were probably just not consumed at the right time or in the right quantity. There are ways you can optimize these foods for a better glucose response. You can exercise before or after eating to increase insulin sensitivity. Strength or resistance training greatly impacts your metabolism. Three to five times of training per week can make even a high carbohydrate food like pizza metabolize better. Not because pizza suddenly turns healthy, but because your body is primed to use glucose more efficiently. Metabolism gradually slows down post noon, which is why the body responds poorly to late night snacking. Try eating your meals an hour earlier than usual to see if your score improves. Other ways to improve your glucose response are eating more fiber and protein and improving sleep quality. Stress can increase insulin resistance. Managing stress levels by breathing exercises and reducing screen time can improve your score. Sometimes a workout might give you a low fueling score. You can optimize those workouts by fueling properly with a pre-workout drink or a meal that keeps you in the ideal zone. You can also optimize those workouts by resting enough and replacing glucose and fructose heavy drinks with complex and super starches. Another thing you can do is fuel according to the intensity of your workout. Aligning fueling with your fitness goals is crucial. Your first four weeks with Ultra Human Cyborg serve as a mirror to help you see what is happening inside your body. The data over this time gives a picture of the workings of your body, how you react to most foods, and what lifestyle changes you need to make in order to improve your metabolic health. Ultra Human Cyborg keeps track of your key functions for you to give you a metabolic score. This score can be used to make key decisions about the changes you need to make in your diet, workouts, and lifestyle in general to improve your score. With real-time updates on spikes and crashes and nudges tailored to your needs, you can stay sharp, accountable, and on top of things. By the time you reach this phase, you should see an improvement in your metabolic score and stabilized glucose levels. If your glucose levels are out of range despite managing your diet, exercise, sleep, and stress, you might have insulin resistance. This happens when your body is unable to absorb glucose from your blood easily, prompting your pancreas to create more insulin. Over time, blood glucose continues to rise while your body becomes resistant to insulin. Insulin resistance could lead to other diseases if left unchecked, but there are ways around this. Having low GI foods, getting around 300 minutes a week of strength training and cardio, managing stress, getting enough sleep, and cutting down on sugary foods are the most effective ways to improve glucose metabolism. These methods have helped people not just manage insulin resistance, but also become more insulin sensitive over time, which helps their metabolic health holistically. You can continue working on your metabolic health closely and optimize your glucose levels with Ultra Human Cyborg's performance coaches. They're here to help you understand how you can improve your nutrition, workout, or sleep, helping you improve your insulin sensitivity. Make sure you also get a doctor's opinion on managing insulin resistance. Yeah.